Yo, YouTube, welcome back to another video for part four of what I want to see, where I take five players per video and we talk about the stars of each team and what I want to see from them coming up in this NBA season. Last time we left off with John Morant, you know, the shooter, the shooter, the shooter. And now we about to go over to Miami and talk about Jimmy Butler, Jimmy Emo, Jimmy Jordan, and the Miami Heat. First of all, this is the guy that everybody say is an elite player. Here's what I want to see from Jimmy Butler. I want to see him take the regular season seriously. How can we put Jimmy Butler as a top 10, top 7 elite player in the NBA and he barely does anything in the regular season? With that type of talent, the guy that's giving me 40 points in game 1 or game 2 or game 3 can't do none of this in the regular season? I think in Jimmy Butler's career, he's never averaged 24 points per game. This is an elite player that has never gave me 24 points per game. If you're an elite player, you get it done in the regular season and you do better in the playoffs. Now, yes, these last two years, he's made the playoffs look pretty good on his end. I think 26 points per game, 27 in the playoffs for the entire playoffs. Now, that's good, but you have to show me this in the regular season. He plays enough games. He has the ball enough to make these numbers. There's no excuses why he can't do this in the regular season. And do not tell me that regular season do not matter because if you don't play good in the regular season, you don't make the playoffs, bro. It's that simple. So what I want to see from Jimmy Butler is take the regular season seriously. Give me about 24, 25 points per game. He was a second team All-NBA guy last year with 21, 22 points per game. So you're telling me he can't do that again, but give me extra points and a little bit more production in the regular season. And then... Again, do what you do in the playoffs, that's perfectly fine. But if he doesn't do this in the regular season, bro, I don't want to hear anything about Jimmy Butler as a top 10 player. I don't want to hear it because top 10 players don't do that shit. We hold everybody else to these standards, and we don't give a shit about what Jimmy Butler does in the regular season. I'm not having it, bro. Let's move on to the Milwaukee Bucks. Y'all know who team that is, right? The star player of that team. Even with Dame pulling up, still Giannis' team, bro. Here's what I want to see from Giannis Attentacumpo. Damian Lillard is in the building. So now he doesn't have the burden of having to drop 30 every game. That means there's room for Giannis to go ahead and make some defensive impact. They lost Drew Holiday, and now everybody's like, oh, oh, Drew was the best defender on that team. I think Giannis has something to say about that. He can guard the interior. He can rim protect. He can guard the perimeter. Not as good as some of these perimeter defenders, but he could do a pretty good job. I think Giannis needs to go for that defensive player of the year. And I think now with Dame there and they could practice together, I think Dame can help Giannis improve on his jump shooting, his pull-up jump shots, his turnaround fade he likes to do I think I want to see an uptick in some of his numbers when it comes to pull-up jump shots and, and post phase and all that good stuff I want to see Giannis have a improved jump shot this coming season will he do it we never know he's a strong guy we know stronger guys have a difficult time of shooting the ball with the broad shoulders but I think Giannis has the best best opportunity to get that done this season let's go to Minnesota let's go to Minnesota cold like Minnesota all right enough of that Anthony Edwards bro that's his team He's the best player on that team. It is not Cat team, right? That is a dog's team, and that is Anthony Edwards' team. Here's what I want to see from Anthony Edwards. All-NBA team. I'm looking around the league, and ain't too many guards that are going to be better than um, Anthony Edwards, especially shooting guards. Jalen Brown is playing the three. Devin Booker's playing the one. Donovan Mitchell's pretty good, but I think we can have that argument that Anthony Edwards may be better than Donovan Mitchell. We'll get to that eventually soon. But he needs to make an all-NBA team. I think he could get between anywhere between 24 and 28 points per game, take that next leap. The NBA is already marketing him as one of their guys of the future. So I think he needs an all-NBA team. Maybe a top four seed too as well so he could get to the second round because he's always facing the best team because they sneak into the playoffs last minute. I think they have a better regular season. They could be a top four, top five seed, and they could finally get to the second round. That's what I want to see from Anthony Edwards. Lead his team to the playoffs, get to the second round, give me all NBA. And it's just like that, bro. It's that simple, man. Ant got the time to do it, and I want to see it, man. Let's go to New Orleans. Zion Williamson. Here's what I want to see from Zion Williamson, bro. This has nothing to do with basketball, but everything to do with Zion Williamson. Bro needs to get a dietitianary, he needs a nutritionist, and he needs a personal chef. And he needs to make sure these three people are on the road with him. Because I don't think it's the problem when he's at home that he can keep his weight, make sure he's in shape, yada, yada, yada. I think it's when he goes on the road, he, I, I want to get me some Chick-fil-A now, I want to go eat Popeye's, I'm going to go do this, I'm going to go to the strip club and get some wings and all that. I think Zion needs to make sure he stays on course with his meal prep plan and his fitness plan and his nutritionary and his dietitianary and all that. He needs to make sure he has all three of those 
people in place so he can have a successful season. Because it's not so much his injuries and all that. It's his weight, bro. He The type of play style he plays, he's jumping out the gym, bro. And you got to make sure you was as lean as possible. You're, you're working out consistently. You got to consistently work on your cardio. Drop some of that weight. Eat clean, bro. That's all Zion got to do because when he's on the court, he's 27 points per game. He's about eight eight rebounds a game. You know what I'm saying? He could pass the ball. His jump shot could use some work, but we all know his strong suit. He's going to he's gonna do what he's going to do, and I think Zion's going to continue to do that when he gets on the court, but he has to stay on the court. Now, New Orleans was a top four, top five team when he was playing last year. They could guarantee do that again if he stays healthy. So the main thing for Zion, stay healthy. Get you a nutritionist, get you a dietitianary, and I know he has a personal chef already, but make sure they're on the road with you so you can stay healthy and give New Orleans an actual good shot at the playoffs this year. Moving on to the last person of this video, we're going to New York City. As much as y'all may think Jalen Brunson is the best person on that team, I'm going ahead and going to talk about Julius Randle because he was the all-star last year, and what he needs to do is stop shooting them goddamn threes, bro. It's so many times I watched the Knicks Celtics game last year because obviously I watched all the Tatum's game and he was shooting a lot of threes. I looked at his stats, eight threes a game. No, 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 no. Julius Randle, you need to get your ass in the post and get some more post ups. I know analytics don't like post ups because it's not so, it's not, it doesn't look good on paper and shit like that, but fuck all that. He need to go get, get your ass in the post. Take about four, five, six post-up touches a game and limit some of those threes and stop jacking those threes, bro. And in the playoffs, bro was averaging, what, 16? He's only been to the playoffs twice, and he's 16 points per game? How are you an all-star giving me all-star numbers in the regular season and get to the playoffs and look like a role player? He need to, he need to step it up in the playoffs, man. I don't think they're going to have a, a, a deep playoff run because New York just always falls short for whatever reason. There's better teams in front of them. They're going to run into Boston. They're going to run into Milwaukee. So they're not going to beat those two teams. Even Miami, they're going to run into Miami, have difficulties with them. But Julius Randle needs to have signature playoff moments to show us that he's not just a regular season guy. New York has the tools and assets and the coaching to at least win a couple of games and Force six games in, in in the second round. So w- that's what I want to see from Julius Randle. Less three-point shots, get your ass in the post, and perform in the playoffs, man. And with that being said, we're going to end the video just like that, man. Appreciate y'all for watching. See y'all in the next one, man. Part five coming real soon, man. If y'all not following me on TikTok, y'all know where to find me, man. I'm out of here. Yeah.